Hello everybody, welcome to my final conductor chat of this term. Um, today's the 23rd of November. Um, there's been really good news today about potential vaccines. Um, the Oxford vaccine is looking very promising in addition to the, to the two that seem to have good news last week. So that's really exciting because it means um, that it's even more likely that we will be able to get together in April for our planned face-to-face uh, -face event, hopefully. Um, so that's really exciting. This term, we're, we're finishing off this term with the Great Gate of Kiev. Um, and by now, you should all have folders, hopefully, with all your music in for all uh, 10 weeks worth of music. Um, five promenades, 10 individual movements, so 15 pieces of music in total, and you should now have copies of all of them in your folders. Keep them safe, because you're going to need them next term. Uh, in January, we're going to be starting a new series of videos with me conducting a larger group of SCO players. Um, and uh, you'll use that same music then and you'll be able to practice with me conducting you, rehearsing you, um, so that you can get used to some of the trickier corners in all of the movements. And we'll go through them again in, in roughly the same pattern as we've done this term. This week, the Great Gate of Kiev. Um, it's a really exciting movement. I, I really, really love it. Um, it's uh, particularly exciting because all of the beginner and learner players, as well as the people playing the advanced parts, get to play the tune at some point or other, which is always lovely. Uh, it's a really grand movement um, because uh, the Great Gate of Kiev uh, image was a design for a grand triumphal arch in, uh, in Kiev that was never built. Um, uh, poor old Hartman uh, did this amazing design and you can see it, you Google that, you'll, you'll find it, um, you'll find his design, but it was never built. It's very disappointing. I know of at least one person who always dreamt of going to Kiev uh, to see the Great Gate of Kiev and would have been sorely disappointed if they'd gone there. So, um, this week I thought we could uh, all think of something. What would we design um, if we had a dream of designing something spectacular. I know Katrina's dream would be to make a centre for world peace here in Caithness. I think she has, has an idea of where she would build it and everything. So In the shape of a spiral. In the shape of a spiral. <sighs> a never-ending shape. Brilliant. <laughs> um, so that's her idea. Maybe I'll get her to draw that and submit it. You never know. Um, but have a think about what would be your dream design? What construction would you dream of making for your community or for the world? Uh, whatever. Um, be really imaginative. See what you can come up with. What's the most amazing thing you can think of? I have another sub challenge for you, which is for all of you to keep playing through the holidays. OK, we go into the Christmas holidays effectively for this project after um, this week. Keep playing through the holidays and uh, be aiming towards your own face-to-face -face events. We're hoping to have people from all over the Highlands joining us here when we're allowed to in uh, Caithness, hopefully in April. You could come and visit us in Caithness. This is Caithness. If you're a surfer, come to Thurzo. Look at that surf. It's amazing. Um, so uh, you can come and join us up here if you want to when we manage to do our face-to-face -face event. Or maybe you'll organise your own. I know there's an orchestra in Suffolk, for instance, who are working on this. There's, there are players down in Devon. There are players in uh, Glasgow and all over the place, actually. And we hope you will all uh, aim to do your own face-to-face uh, -face events in due course. Next, week's, next year's videos, I should say, next term's videos, will help you in preparing for that, okay? So keep your eyes peeled. If you've already subscribed to the SCO's uh, uh, mailing list, then you'll get notification of when those videos restart. If you haven't, uh, then it's not too late to sign up now. It's certainly not too late to sign up to join in with the project. If you're only coming across us now and want to join up, all, all of the previous week's rehearsal videos are there, so you can print off your music and join in now. Do subscribe though, because then you'll get notified in January when we're restarting, okay? And the more the merrier. We want more of you playing and we want to hear more from you as well. Don't forget, if you haven't sent us a selfie of yourself playing, rehearsing, that it's not too late to do that either, okay? Have you sent your selfie, Susan? I haven't yet okay, sent my we'll do selfie. That today. <laughs> I will do that today. But um, more of you send in your selfies, okay? Uh, we want to see who you all are and where you all are, okay? Have fun, stay safe over Christmas and the New Year, and we'll see you in January.
Bye.